Welcome to the Fire Rescue Series on the KST map in FS17. Today we will be responding to a variety of calls. We'll be heading over to the main station in our F-250 Chief Truck. We are just now receiving a call out for a jet ski on fire. Let's get all of our lights on and head over to the station. It looks to be a jet ski and a pickup truck at the local pond. I'm excited to be back here in FS17 doing some fire rescue. Many of you guys have been requesting it lately and I thought why don't we come back here, do a throwback, and enjoy using the fire trucks here and farming some later. Since there's not too much traffic on the roadway, I don't really want to uh, just run the sirens, but if we do come up on some cars blocking our way, we'll get the uh, sirens turned on and those should help uh, move them. And we have arrived here. It's a pretty uh, short drive from our house, which is pretty good. We do need to get all of our lights uh, turned off really quick. Hop in the station, grab our uniforms, and uh, head out. Come through the door. Luckily, it's open. We'll come over here, get the gear really quick, and we are all ready to go. It will be a one engine responding, so we'll have to come uh, get the door open, and it will be engine 70. I really do enjoy the Fire Rescue series here in FS17. If you guys would like to see more of this, please let me know. And we can see the fire there in the distance. Pretty big fire for a small, a small jet ski. Looks like police haven't arrived yet. And over the uh, dispatch, there were no uh, reported injuries, which is a good thing. We'll come over here, get the fire hose, and we'll get going. And we'll just kind of uh, put some water here on the truck. Looks like a little bit of damage there to the heat, but it looks like the jet ski's a total loss. This is a pretty small pond here for the jet ski, but uh, they probably just wanted to test it out. I hope everyone's having a great day so far. Let me know how it is down below. I really do enjoy uh, posting daily farming some later videos. And after a little bit of time, it looks like the fire is now out. Let's uh, put up the hose back in the fire truck and head back over to the station. Now one thing that would be pretty cool here for the fire rescue series is uh, to show damage to uh, the vehicles or even trees. I think that that would be pretty cool. Even the grass would be burned. But we'll hop here in the truck and it looks like we're holding up traffic. But that's a good thing. Traffic should not be going by when there's a fire so close uh, to the side of the road. I really do enjoy these fire trucks here in uh, FS17. A big shout goes out to r, &R Apparatus uh, for releasing these. And hopefully uh, we could get uh, these fire trucks in 19 soon. That would be pretty cool, especially with the new lights uh, that we have. This Pierce engine is one of our main uh, engines that we use here for the station. So far, uh, it's been holding up really well. At the end of today, we'll get all the trucks washed. I don't want to just uh, come back, wash it, go out again. We'll just wash it at the end of our shift. Having these lines outside the station does help out to get us lined up. And that way we don't have to keep uh, maneuvering the fire engine inside. Now it is a tight fit here with the uh, mirrors there, but we do a pretty good job. And that's pretty much it. It is a department policy that uh, the uh, lights do have to be on when we back up. Since we are here at the station, why don't we get all of these uh Doors opened up. You guys can see great looking station here today. Pretty awesome lineup of vehicles. But we'll wait around here for the next call.
A call just came over the radio for a old uh, crane on fire at one of the construction company headquarters. We'll be responding over there here in engine one. This is the newer of the uh, two engines here, and I really do like this one quite a lot. We'll get everything turned on, the sirens, and it will be a bit of a distance over there, and we gotta go there pretty fast. That way it does not spread to any other equipment or even the shop. And they are not even yielding here for us. That's not a good thing. I really do hope that we can get pretty realistic traffic here in the game. But we are arriving here. Whoa, you guys can see that. It is a, uh, looks to be a crane over there. And it must have caught on fire due to it being old or uh, maybe electrical fire. But we'll have to put it out. Looks like a little bit of the scale is being damaged. Yeah, looks like this will be a total loss here. Very big fire, bigger uh, than what we usually have here for equipment fires, but this is a pretty large equipment. If you guys would like to see more throwbacks here to FS17, please let me know. FS17 still offers mods and uh, different things in the game that a uh, 19 currently does not offer. We are putting so much water here on it, and I think it would be pretty cool as well to kind of fill up the uh, fire engines with water at the end of the day, since we kind of go through so much water putting out fires. Luckily, it looks to be uh, not really spreading to that tree, otherwise it could even become a bigger fire. And the fire is now out. Let's uh, put the hose away and head back over to the station. So that is call number two here for today. Usually when you go on shift midday, early morning, it's a very busy one, especially with all the traffic and uh, people trying to use equipment and things like that. But whoa, uh, two calls already for kind of equipment uh, vehicle fires, if you would so call it. Hopefully uh, we don't get any more of these because these are always a bit tricky. And even with the uh, gas tanks in the vehicles, airbags, sometimes those kind of uh, cause a fire to get bigger. And that's not always a good thing. This is another great uh, fire engine we do have here for uh, the station. Now we actually do have an airport fire department along with a brush fire and the main station. So three stations here on the map. The main station responds to all of the usual uh, fire related calls. The other two to focus on very narrow and specific uh, things, especially the airport. They only respond to uh, plane crashes and uh, anything like that. We are back here at the station, we go inside, kind of lounge around for a little until the next one comes around. We'll get the uh, lights off here and we'll head inside. And I think we'll just kind of wait around in here. We have just received a call here for a full house on fire. This will be a five alarm fire. Multiple different fire departments will also be responding. We'll hop here in the ladder and we'll be taking multiple fire vehicles over here, which should be pretty awesome. I do get lots of requests to bring more to these fires and I really do enjoy doing that. Those cars are not yielding here for us. This is a pretty big, big fire that we are responding to. Multiple departments are on the way. Hopefully, we'll be the first ones there, kind of assess it and help uh, out with the uh, fight. But whoa, that's a pretty big fire from a distance. Guys can see, and we have arrived here. Whoa, the entire house. Luckily, we brought the uh, ladder truck here. We should be able to kind of get it up top. This is actually the uh, truck 72. The, uh, tower truck here but let's uh, put the stabilizers out we'll get the uh, hose running and we should be uh, getting some water on the soon and that looks to be good 
we are now over here in engine 71 i think the next two vehicles will also be responding And the engine has arrived. You guys can see the cars are not yielding here to us. It is a bit uh, tricky going around them, but uh, these engines, once they do get up to speed, do a great job. Pretty bad on the braking. So much water, so much weight, and so much equipment inside. We've got another engine here, one more rescue truck, which will give a bit more supplies here. Rescue 70 is in route. And we have arrived here with our entire department. We'll get out the fire hoses and we'll get started off. And it looks like they are a few minutes uh, back from uh, being here at the other departments. But we'll uh, continue to put out this far and hope you guys enjoyed today's throwback video to Fire Rescue. Uh, let me know if you guys would like to see more. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more. Yeah.